The Shein haul is finally here. What is up guys? If you are new here, my name is Paige Smith and I have an exciting video for you today. As you can see, the Shein haul is happening. I am so stoked. I had mentioned on my Instagram a few weeks ago how I made a really big Shein haul, how there was over 45, 50 items and a lot of them are activewear and some fun cute tops. But since then, I've competed in two different shows, traveled to Houston for the Alphaland Summer Shredding, um, and it's just been a crazy month. So I'm finally getting around to trying on all my Shein stuff, giving a great review, a great and thorough review for you guys so you can save some time and get exactly what you want. My um, reasoning behind my Shein haul is I hate spending so much money on leggings. Um, my tried and true is Alphaly. I love their service path. They're my favorite. I literally have five of the same colors, <laughs> like five black pairs, five gray pairs. It's my favorite. So anywho, so I wanted to do the Shein haul because I wanted to try out their activewear. I've seen so many other YouTube videos, TikToks, Instagram reels about Shein's activewear and some are hits, some are good, and some are not so good. But I wanted to do it for myself um, since I am competing this year. It's been competition season pretty much all year long so I wanted to invest in my activewear so I have some fresh new fits but I'm also not breaking the bank you know so before we get started I will be time stamping the different categories of clothes so mostly I got leggings shorts sports bras a few tank tops and tops and then a bodysuit so I'll go ahead and time stamp the different categories below so if you have something specific you can just skip over to that category and watch the try on I will also be listing out the sizes that I got and everything um, so you guys have that for reference and of course I'll be including all the links to each um, item down below and yeah so first up we're going to be starting with leggings. So first I'm going to start out with these leggings right here so I have three different colors they're all the same exact item but I just got them in different colors so I'll just start with my favorite. I love this red color. It is so vibrant. It is so just out there. I'm usually like a black liking girl. So whenever I saw these, I was like, you know, I'm going to try branching out. I'll get a few different colors, see what I like, um, and see if I like the overall style. So I wanted to find something kind of similar to the scrunch bump since that's been trending. So I ended up getting these. As you can see in the back, it does have that little scrunch, if you will. And then the waistband is super... Um, it has a good ribbed, I guess, waistband, um, and then it does, like, it's very tight. So, I absolutely love these leggings. I was so shocked because I'm pretty sure after my 25% off discount, these all came out to be $12 each. So, I'm a big, big fan. These have been one of my favorites. They're squat proof. Um, the material is super comfortable, and I just love how flattering they are on my butt, on my glutes, on my legs, on everything. Um, they are too loose in the waist. They are a perfect length. They come down probably 7 eighths. Um, and yeah, so these are all my favorite. I'll obviously be putting the try on right here. Um, so these are probably one of my top three favorite leggings that I got. The, yeah, the green is not my favorite color, so I'll probably be returning that. Um, I just didn't really, I didn't love it on my body, but the orange and the red were definitely my favorite. Um, like I said, I've been pairing these with my different sports bras that I got, white, black, you can literally do whatever colors, and the orange also has the same scrunch bump on it. These are identical leggings, just different colors. So if you're looking for like a basic scrunch bum legging um, and you're also looking to branch out in your colorway for your gym attire, I would definitely recommend getting these. Um, they're definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. Okay, so next up are my absolute favorite leggings of the entire haul. It's from Shein's brand Glow Mode. So it's kind of like their luxurious activewear um, brand. I was a little skeptical. I actually, my whole haul was based off this because I had seen that they came out with a luxury activewear brand. And I had to try them out for myself to see if they were worth the hype. Um, like I said before, the leggings that I showed you in the three different colors were the scrunch bumps and they were $12, so they're more on the cheaper end. Um, these were, after this count, probably around like $18 to $20, so they're a little bit more. Um, still cheap for leggings, and guys, they are perfect. So let me just start out with my absolute favorite pair, 
and it is the glow mode it's a crossover so if you can see the waist has a crossover it is not a scrunch bum it's just a classic um seam and then in the front they are not seamless which i just realized they do have a front seam um but guys this material is luxurious so it does have this little detailing right here similar to that of lululemon and guys this material is a mixture of lululemon airy and athlete like it's all of them combined into one so my favorite leggings are the surface paths from athlete and these are close they're not as um they're not as compressive probably as the athlete ones in my opinion but they're a perfect combination of soft like the soft lines but thicker um and then the airy and alpha ones so these have definitely been my favorite i accidentally ordered two pairs and i think i'm going to keep them both because i love them that much you cannot go wrong if you are a big fan of alpha or the lulu lines but you want them a little bit thicker um or if you're a big airy leg girl i would highly recommend trying out the glow mode collection um this is their crossover waist one but i absolutely love these these are my favorite and i'll probably be ordering these over restocking my other leggings so these are definitely gonna be my new staples my new go-to and i would definitely recommend if you are a black legging girl and you really like that crossover waist style so next up on the glow mode i also ordered the same ones in this navy color um again it has that crossover waist detailing it has the same um just a little seam in the back no scrunch and then it does have the detailing on the leg if you can see it has like the little glow mode logo and here's like the little glow mode brand so they're feather fit fabric super soft buttery fabric with next to nothing feel a four-way stretch and 97 percent shape retention no see-through with interlocking weaving and it's sweat wicking and breathable guys i 100 percent agree and stand with this little label right here this fabric is so buttery soft it is not see-through it's very squat proof um and i just love these leggings they're definitely my favorite i'm so passionate about them because they're just like i wish you could feel it they're so comfortable um so yeah so i got them in the black i got them in the navy and this material is just so good i love it um like i said if you have if you wear black leggings or like neutral leggings a lot or you love the crossover i would 10 out of 10 recommend getting these because they are literally perfect so last but not least of the glow mode collection i picked up these ones this is the same glow mode um collection you can see right here it has like the little logo but this one these leggings are a little bit different they have a little um, drawstring in the front the back is not like a little v-cut it's more straight across and they are a little bit more high-waisted and then this also has pockets so if you're a big pocket person which I'm not I am personally not a big pocket person but the surface pads have them so like I don't mind them but I'm not putting my phone in my legging pocket but these are super cute I love them because they're a little bit more like they go up higher and kind of snatch the waist with the drawstring um, I will say the waistband is it's very durable um, and like I said it does snatch the waist and it has the same buttery material as the other two guys the glow mode's worth it like it's luxurious it's just the quality is a lot better in my opinion um, so if you are just getting a few pairs of leggings I would 10 out of 10 recommend investing in the glow mode ones I like the crossover ones a little bit better um, because I think they're more flattering on the front, like on the waist section, and then also from the back since they do have that V-cut. But I do absolutely love these. I think this is a great change of pace and fun to like just change up your black leggings and add a little drawstring or add your little pockets to it. So I love these. They're squat proof. They're luxurious and buttery. 10 out of 10 recommend. Let's move on to the next legging. Alrighty guys, so next up on the leggings, I have three pairs of tie-dye scrunch bum leggings. So these have been so trendy, I feel like, lately, especially this colorway. Um, so these are the gray and black tie-dye scrunch bum leggings. So as you can see, the waist is a little bit loose, in my opinion. Um, it is that, like, ribbed kind of uh, seamless waistband. And then this is the back. It does have that scrunch bum little style. And then, I don't know if you can tell, but it kind of, like, has inventions for your butt, if that makes sense. Um, so it's definitely a scrunch bum booty emphasis legging. Um, and they are the tie-dye ones. So I went ahead and I got these in three different colors. So this is the gray and black. 
I got them in black and gray, so it's a little bit more subtle. It still has that same waistband and the same scrunch bum detailing. And I also went ahead and I got them in this green color. So again, it has the same waistband that you can see and then it has the same scrunch bum detailing. And then this one you can kind of tell a little bit more on the sides. It has some side detailing that goes all out along like the entire leg. So if you can see this, you'll see in the try-on as well. Um, so I really like these leggings. I love the style, I love the fabric, um, and I love the patterns. I think they're more fun. Um, I'm definitely not a big pattern person when it comes to the gym, so it's fun to mix things up and add these to my wardrobe. Um, the only thing that I did not like about this, these leggings are the waistband. I feel like it didn't snatch my waist. They weren't as tight. Um, they're kind of loose and I do not love the loose look on leggings. I don't really like having to roll leggings over. Um, so that's my only complaint about these. But other than that, the material is very similar, almost identical to the very first scrunch bum leggings that I showed you, the solid color ones. These ones are just patterned and they do have a little bit of a looser waist. So if you do find yourself want, like having leggings that are like too tight around your waist or feel like too constricting, these would be a really good option because they are very stretchy. Um, they come in a lot of patterns and they'll be more comfortable in my opinion than the other, than the red, orange, and green leggings that I showed earlier. Um, but yeah, so these ones are super cute. They are all squat proof, which I was honestly shocked about because I had read some reviews that they weren't and I'm like, maybe they just weren't getting a big enough size, but I got a size, I want to say a size medium in all of these. Yes. So I got a size medium in all these leggings. They were all squat proof. Again, I love the fabric. I love the material. Um, I love the scrunch bum in the little detailing that it has over the leggings. My only complaint is the waistband. But if you guys are looking to get a very cheap pair of the trendy leggings that in tie-dye in multiple colors, I would 10 out of 10 recommend. Alrighty guys, so next up I have one more pair of leggings. So excited to show them to you. Um, and then one pair of joggers. So I'll do them kind of right after each other. So my last pair of leggings are these scrunch bum little numbers. So as you can see in the back, it has that scrunch bum detailing. And then I got these guys. If you see these and you know what I'm talking about, then you know. I got these because these are a bombshell dupe. I had to get them. I had to get them to try to see if they were like the bombshells. So as you can see, scrunch bum, same with the whole waist situation where it's ribbed type thing. Um, but this pattern and this color, um, but I absolutely love these. They have a very similar material um, as the very as both of these scrunch bum legs that I showed before. I'm pretty sure all the materials are pretty much the same. Um, they do feel a lot more stretchy, so that's kind of nice. Um, but guys, I just like love this cute little pattern. I think it's so fun. Um, this part down here does feel a lot softer than this part for some reason. Maybe it's because this part's heathered. And this part's like a solid color, but I really like these. I think these are a great dupe if you can't afford or don't want to spend a lot of money on the bombshells. I think these are a great alternative. Um, they also came in multiple different colors. So if you're into that, I think they had blue and pink, but I thought this was just the cutest color. And I think this goes great with a white sports bra. Um, I couldn't find a sports bra that matched like the colors, which I was like kind of bummed about. Um, but I think these are a great legging. I think they're super cute and I definitely think they're worth a buy, especially if you're into the bombshell um, style. Next up, we have not a pair of leggings, it's a pair of joggers, but these were literally, I think like $10. They, I was really confused when I got them because they look ginormous. Um, but they are super soft, um, just kind of a very cheap, thin material. The bottom of it is like this, so it's a little cuffed. Um, and then it doesn't have a tie, so it's just like a little waistband. So as you can see, the waistband's about an inch, and in the waistband there's like, like my finger right here, there's an elastic waistband right here. So it's kind of weird because the waistband's really big, and like the waistband... I'm trying to figure out how to describe this. So it has like this long waistband, but then it has an elastic part that goes through it and it only is like maybe an inch. It's as long as like my finger. So this is where it ends. So I think that's kind of a little bit cheap in my opinion, but I mean, they were only, they were a little less than $10, so it's gonna be a little bit cheap. And then this is kind of what the back looks like. It has that classic athletic look. 
and then it does have pockets so I have a very similar pair to this by Airy. it's like their high waist real knee legging and it has the cuff which I love that's actually how I got these because these look the most similar to them um, but these aren't as thick they're a lot more thinner than my Airy ones which I actually kind of prefer because I don't love getting super hot in my joggers um, and then my high waisted ones from Airy, the like the waistband flaps over so it's like a really long waistband which I don't mind but I also don't love and so I want to get one that was like just a normal waistband so I'm still debating if I want to keep these or not because I don't know if I love how there's like a little elastic right here but for 10 bucks that was it for the liking and bottom portion now we're moving on to shorts so I have not been a big shorts girl I I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm insecure about wearing shorts to the gym, but I just don't feel my most confident when I wear shorts to the gym. Um, however, since I have been prepping, obviously, I am leaning out a little bit more and feeling a little bit more confident in my body. So I wore shorts for the first time to the gym, and I absolutely loved it. So I had to pick up some more shorts from Shein just to test it out, test my theory, see if I like wearing them and if I feel more confident in them. And so I got loads. All right, so I will start out with my most loud fun exciting pairs of shorts and that are and that is <laughs> and these are those leggings so as you can see these are both tie-dye so similar to the leggings that i got and they are both scrunch bum so as you can see it has that scrunch bum detailing it has the detailing on the sides um and it has a very similar fabric and pattern and then as you can see so both of these are scrunch bum shorts these are literally I love them. I think they're so cute. I think they're so fun. Guys, if you know me, I don't wear pink. Like, this is not... I, I am not a pink girl. That is my twin sister Parker's thing. She is all pink. Um, but I decided to go for it because I have a dark sport um, oversized t-shirt that I like wearing. And I thought these would go really cute with it because it says wolves in the back and it's a pink cherry blossom collection. Shout out to dark sport. But um, anyways, so I got these and I love these. I think they're so cute. I feel super confident in them when I go to the gym. And they're not too short, not too long, so it's like a really good length in my opinion. And they are, I think I got these both in mediums. Yes, I got these both in mediums and the waistband has like a similar thing where it's a little bit bigger and I feel like I would want it to go like that. <laughs> like if it was just a little bit tighter. Um, so I can, I roll these over a little bit. I have to like roll them over to make them a little bit tighter, which I don't love. But I think they're super cute. I think they're a fun addition to like a leg day um, for taking videos in. I wore them to Alfland and I just love the way that my little videos turned out. So if you're looking for a fun pair of shorts, um, especially in this new trendy tie-dye pattern, I would 10 out of 10 recommend getting these. They are both squat proof. Like I said, I've worn them both for leg day and they're both squat proof. They both um, perform well. They, I don't, I don't really remember if they ride up or not, um, but I'm not a big shorts person and I felt comfortable in these like during my whole workout. So squat proof, great material, stretchy, waistband isn't super tight. Again, that was my one thing with the other leggings that I didn't love. Uh, but for these shorts, I think they're like eight bucks each and they're just a great staple to have. So if you're looking for some fun and trendy shorts, I would definitely recommend trying these out. All right, let's move right into the next scrunch bum leggings. So clearly I'm on a trend here. I think scrunch bum just, she and makes them the best that's like what had the most re reviews so that's kind of what i ended up grabbing the most um and i just think that's kind of like the in style right now and i feel like anyways it doesn't really matter so for this next pair of shorts i actually got them in three different colorways and they are all the same style so ooh. so i got them in blue i got them in maroon and then i got them in black so they're all the same style just different colors my favorite has to be these blue ones. I think they are so cute. It has a scrunch bum detailing. Again, this is the waist. And they do have some cute little, like, little detailing on the sides and down the little legs. So I think these are so cute. I love this color. It goes with everything. Um, and this material is so soft. Like, it's similar to the tiny material. But I, for some reason, when it's like a solid color, I feel like the material is just a lot more soft. So I'm not sure if that's like the detailing or the different fabric. This one does look like it has like a th maybe two different, I don't know if you can tell, but on like the waistband, it has like a tighter one here. So I love the color. Again, super soft material. I've worn them to the gym. They are squat proof. And I just think these are perfect. I think it's 
kind of a neutral but it's kind of loud at the same time so i feel very confident wearing these and like i said they're so soft so buttery for seamless i'm actually kind of surprised but i absolutely love these shorts and i'm so glad i got them in another color so we will look at them in this color this is like a maroon so i have the same scrunch bum detailing on the back and then it has the exact same patterns and again these are so soft um it's such a comfortable material and again the waistband they're not as tight as i want them to be but you'll see the try on haul how they or you'll see in the try on video on how it fits um if you're into that if you want like a loose a looser waist or if you don't really mind it being um like kind of a little bit bigger that's okay so anyways love this i think this color is so fun um definitely a more muted neutral um closer to like browns and black so if you're into like a darker color and you're worried about like sweat or something like that i think this color is a great option i think the blue did well whenever i sweated so it's fine but if you're thinking of getting the black ones i would highly recommend not getting these so although they're all the same color same pattern for some reason this black color fits so weird like the waist it's like significantly wider than the bottoms and then the thigh part was so tight like they're all the same size they're all mediums and for some reason this black just fit really weird it was not the same fit the fabric still feels like similarly soft but i just did not like how these fit or um the overall style i don't know i think it was kind of weird how just like one color change but i do know black fabrics can like do a lot different than colored fabrics so you'll see in the try on haul how these fit if you like how they fit go for it these were definitely not my favorite i would rather just stick to like my black athlete um revive shorts so so next we have this super fun pattern i saw these and i just had like them. they are like a biker short length they do have a like the scrunch bum detailing um and a super high waistband and it's kind of stretchy but it is very compressive so i thought these were super cute i love the style i love the pattern they did a really great job i feel like on like a seamless legging with like a colored patterned fabric um but they were my favorite because they were biker short styles so they're a little bit longer yes i could hike them up um but they just were kind of not my favorite length and then with that because it is patterned like the fabric feels a little bit weird um i don't really know how to describe it, it just kind of I mean it's i don't know if you can see but it's like a little bit raised and so overall like these were not my favorite i think they're super cute they're super um fun but they just weren't the most comfortable and like i couldn't feel the most confident in them so i will be returning these ones um but i think they're super cute and if you're into this style and you'd be okay with the fabric not soup not being like super buttery um i would recommend these to you so that's the last of my shorts and then i have one pair of sweatshorts that i'll show you and then we'll move on to sports bras okay so this is the pair of sweatshorts that i got i have the alphalete core shorts um they don't sell them anymore but they're like their sweat shorts i think they're in the other room or else i would show them too but i'll put a picture of the core shorts right here this is what um i was hoping to kind of get a dupe of since they don't sell the core shorts anymore but these are like a very basic sweatpant jog uh, like a jogger short if you will um the material on the inside if you can see that is almost like a towel material um that's it literally is like a towel material so that's kind of what um the vibe of these are and they do have pockets right here very big pockets which i think is really nice and then they have that drawstring little detailing but as you can see these are really high quality for the price i think they were less than ten dollars um and i was just wanting a basic kind of with the joggers a very basic pair of shorts that i could just wear around the house when i'm working from home or just like running errands something i could just like pop these on because i'm always wearing my alpha lead core joggers or core shorts um so i really like these they're super cozy super comfortable and i think they could be styled with a big tee a crop top sports bra hoodie literally whatever um so if you're looking for just a super basic pair of black shorts i know that shein has a ton of options so i literally just picked one and hoped for this and i would highly recommend getting these so so that's the end of the shorts and now we are moving on to sports bras I am obsessed with fun sports bras. I feel like sports bras add 
so much to an outfit. You know, you can wear a pair of basic black leggings and then you just add a cute sports bra and like your outfit's amazing. So I wanted to find some super cute staple sports bras because I feel like there's just a lot out there, but there's none that are like super cute or super strappy and things like that. So I wanted to find some more cute ones and in more color. I also forgot with my absolute favorite. It is the most vibrant, it's the most bright, and I just think it is so cute. And it is this one. So as you can see, this color is absolutely amazing. It's super fun, super bright. I think that's the back. So here's the front. So it has this little shoppy detail right here. So it gives off that one shoulder vibe, but it has straps because I think one shoulders are super fun, but I just like don't like the, what's the word? I forgot what the word is. Anyways, so it's kind of like a one shoulder, but it has the security. And so it has the security of the other straps right here. And I feel like it really adds just a lot of fun and cuteness to a gym outfit so this is definitely one of my favorites it's modest but cute um so i would highly recommend the sports bra i think it's super fun for upper body days as well as it since it is like a higher neckline um it's great for lower body days as well it was super cheap so i would recommend getting this one next is this number and i'm sure you guys have seen something similar um this is a beautiful little green color and then here is the back so if you guys are familiar with fabletics i feel like they have a super similar sports bra to this um just with the, that butterfly looking back detail um this isn't my favorite i tried it on i was really hoping to pair this with the green scrunch foam leggings that i got um if this just turned out to be a little bit big a little baggy and i don't love like the elastic waistband right here i just feel like overall it looks like too big on me um you'll see that in the try on video but i think it's super cute the material is buttery and soft it is padded um the back is has like that kind of see-through mesh material so this would be great if you are in a very hot climate um but overall, I think it's really cute. I just think the front's a little basic for me, and since it was too big, it just gave it kind of a weird look. But I do think it's super cute, and I still would recommend it maybe just size down. Um, and again, you'll see in the trend all how it fits, so if you like how that fits, I would recommend getting this number. Next, guys, I was so excited about this one. This is, if you know, you know, a Whitney Simmons Gymshark dupe. It has that twist little front and then it is just a basic razor back in the back. And it is in this beautiful little soft yellow color. Um, I really wanted to love the sports bra, but I just didn't. I just didn't like how it fit on me. I didn't like the style and I just still really love a classic basic razor back. So I will probably be returning this, but if you were into the Whitney Simmons little twisty front sports bra, I would definitely recommend you that. It has like separate, so it has like a padded bottom, like a padded base, and it has this over it, um, elastic waistband, super soft butter material. Like the quality of these sports bras are so cute. I'm just like super into like the strappy sports bra. So although these are super cute, they just like aren't really my style, but it was super fun to try out and I love the color of this um, in the overall just material. So if you like the Whitney Simmons Gymshark sports bra, I would recommend trying this one out. Next, I found this. So I got this sports right here because it reminded me so much of the Alphalete Surface Surface Power Sports Bra. I literally have it. All right, so I got this sports bra because it reminded me so much of the Alphalete Power Surface Sports Bra. So this is the Alphalete one. As you can see, it has. Oops. As you can see, it has the super cute detail in the back. And this is the Shein one. So I got this because I wanted to see if I could find a dupe. Um, and as you can see, the style is very similar. However, if you look up close and you can see like the lining, it's almost like it's a swimsuit material on the inside, which I find a little bit weird. And then the gray, it's not like my favorite and it's kind of like a... Not uncomfortable or like itchy material but it's just a kind of a weird material i don't know how to describe it i definitely would recommend the alpha lee one over this one but this one was only like five bucks so i really like the style of this one and it's super cute however the fabric just didn't do it for me i all oh i feel like it's like a jersey material so with that i feel like it will retain like that sweat smell and so i will not be keeping this just because i hate whenever my activewear starts smelling bad 
Um, and especially if it's like more prone, I don't want to like, get like outfits that are more prone to sweat smell. So if you're into the style and you're wanting to try out the style of like say the Alphalete power bra, but you don't spend the money, I would definitely recommend trying this out, but do know that it is like that jersey material and it could retain some smellage, you know what I mean? Um, but literally less than $10, I think it's cute. It came in multiple colors, I think. Um, so if you're into it, then try it out. If you're not, don't get it. <laughs> okay, so moving on, guys, this is one of my favorites. It is this very basic white sports bra, but check out the back. So I saw this, let me hold it up, sit down. So it's kind of like that. So it has like the little elastic band that goes around under your boob. And then it has, that's like the back. So it, the straps like attached to it. Um, and again, spaghetti strap. I think I'm just really into the spaghetti straps. And so that's why I don't, I didn't like a lot of the other sports straps because they're not super thin like this one. But guys, this was literally so cute. It's so comfortable. And even though it's white, the it has padding it's not like super like weird looking you know i feel like comfortable wearing this just the gym so i would 10 out of 10 recommend this i think it's super cute the waistband or i guess this is not really a waistband but i'm just gonna call it a waistband the waistband is a little bit big so it can like slide down a little bit but it's overall pretty secure you'll see in the try on video on how it fits but Overall, I love this. I've worn it like a million times. I think it's super cute for upper body day, for a leg day. I think it just adds a little bit of sass to like your outfit. Um, but it is also very basic, so it's not like too much, you know. So 10 out of 10 recommend getting this. And I will probably see if there's some more colors because I really like the style and fit of this sports bra. Okay, guys. Now we're going to be moving into the more black sports bras. So I am a very neutral person. I like black and neutral colors in my active wear. So I went ahead and I got some black sports bras, but I got them in like fun style. So this one is probably one of my favorites. Um, it is a halter top. So I know halter tops are really in right now in the sports fitness industry. Um, gotta show off that back, you know, when you got it. And this is literally so cute. So it's definitely like a performance based material and it has like this little ruching on the back. And then on the front it is padded and then it has just like this little halter neckline. And underneath, I don't know if you can tell, but it, so it is like, there's like a built-in sports bra. So it has like this, this is the material, and um, it does come padded. So I love this. I think it's so cute. I wear it with my little orange scrunch bomb leggings or my red one, red ones. And I think it's just like such a cute fit. It really just is like a basic, but it's really fun because it is the halter. I love the material. I love that it came padded and I love how it has like the little ruche back to make it a little bit tighter. The neckline is not adjustable, but I just like pull it up if it starts falling down. I'm sure you could probably just like sew it if it's like super big on you. Um, an easy stitch. But yeah, I really love this sports bra. I would 10 out of 10 recommend getting this if you have been looking for a halter sports bra. I know there's like a lot of different halters in, well, I have a few more halters <laughs> that I'll be showing you, but I know halter sports bras are really hard to find because some aren't good for performance, some are just like basic, some aren't padded, some aren't, don't fit right for like a certain thing, but this one I have found to be perfect. I've used this for a late day as well as upper body day and I absolutely love it. So if you're looking for a black halter, I would recommend getting this one and it might come in different colors, but I'm not for sure, you'll have to check the link. So 10 out of 10 recommend this halter sports bra. And with that, I'll just go over to this one. So there's a lot of halter sports bras on Shein and I got this one in hopes that it would be good, but it's not, um, no, I'm kidding. So this is like literally like a seamless ribbed like bralette. This is not a sports bra. So even though it said it, it, it it's not, it's not bad, but it is adjustable. So as you can see on like little straps, it has these cute little copper features where you can adjust the neckline, which is really nice. Um, but it is a bralette. It's not a sports bra. So this would be more like a cute top type situation. Um, and since it is ribbed, you wouldn't really have to wear a bra with it or anything. Um, so it's super cute. Love this if I was wanting a bralette, but I was looking for more of a sports bra situation. Um, but I might be keeping this because I think it is a super fun summer fit. And especially with holders being in, I think this is a great little throw on with jean shorts or a pair of jeans. Um, and it was like probably, I think it was less than five bucks. So Super cute, but just no, not sports performance, just a cute top. Moving on to another halter. So this one I got in this blue color, and again, it is that seamless uh, ribbed material, and this neckline is so big. Like, it's so big. Like, it, this is not going to fit. It's 
anyone, I don't think. So I will be returning this because the neckline is just so big, like I don't even think I could sew it to make it smaller. Um, even though I love the color, it's super soft, super buttery. Um, I think it'd be a great little cute top over jean shorts. Um, so if you think that you would be okay with a bigger neckline, go for it. Um, however, it just really wasn't the sports bra vibe that I was hoping for. So super cute, just not the one that I was wanting. And then last but not least, so I mentioned the Glow Mode collection and how it's like their luxurious brand, and they actually have Glow Mode sports bras. So this is their Feather Fit Fabric Glow Mode top, and I think this is so cute. It's literally, it's like a little cross over number, if you can see. So it crossed like this in the back, and then it has like a little crossover in the back, and then like a V cut in the front. And I've also seen in the reviews like people switch it, so they did like a crossover in the front, and then it was like kind of open in the back. Um, but it just got padded, and honestly, it's so nice. Like the detailing, the seams, it's just like super high quality. It has that little glow mode logo right there um and it's it's super high quality like this like feels so nice i'm pretty sure this was like 14 or 15 dollars um but i think i ordered too big of a size so it was a little bit too big on me and it's more like a tank top fit more than a bra um so i'll probably be returning this for a smaller size because this was too big on me um but i think it's so cute and again like this material is buttery soft it's like lulu mixed with alphaline mixed with airy like that's the vibe this is giving so if you love any of those brands and you love the material like i'm not lying i have so much of alphaline this is what it feels like so i would recommend trying this out if you are looking for more of like a long line sports bra it will probably definitely meet your legging line so that you're not showing as much stuff i don't really mind so i like more of the sports bra vibes but Love the Glow Mode collection. I think it's so cute, and I think the quality is definitely worth like the little bit extra that you had to pay for it. So that is it for the sports prize. Now I'm gonna hop over and grab this set and this jumpsuit because it's like the last of the activewear, and then I'll move on to the corset tops and the other little tops. So I got this little set. I thought it'd be really cute because it had like the same leggings or the same shorts as the scrunch bum ones that I got that are in black and again they just like fit a little bit weird so if you're looking for black shorts maybe size up or something I mean you'll see in the try on how they fit but I just didn't love how these fit I thought they were a little bit too short a little bit too tight in the thighs a little bit too loose in the waist so they just didn't do what I was hoping for and then this is like the top that it came with I thought it would be super cute because I'm really into these spaghetti straps and that's like the back but it's it's I don't think it's enough I'm a little nervous look how it's very thin um, and it just doesn't really match the sturdiness of these so like when I put these together it was just it looks very confusing because this is a thicker material than the sports bra this is like a ribbed let's see if you can see this is like a ribbed material if you can see that and so I feel like as a set it just didn't make sense for these to go together um, like I said you'll see in the try on how they fit and then if you see right here like it just doesn't look very safe you know I, I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing this to the gym so i will be returning this just because the quality is not up to par for me personally i don't want to go to the gym and feel like something's gonna break um and i didn't love how the leggings fit either so this was a bust but that's okay it's okay like we have lots of options here okay so next is this girl so like I mentioned before, with the bombshell legging dupe, I wanted to find like a bodysuit dupe for, I feel like it's a super trendy bodysuit. If you've seen it before, you, if you know, you know. Um, the back of this, I feel like looked the most similar compared to all the other bodysuits on the Shein website. So I thought I would go for this. It did come in only in a chocolate brown, but it has like that crisscross little style. Um, and then it is a full length legging. It's not shorts. Um, and then it is like show you this so this is kind of like the back butt seam so it's a little bit of a v seam but not too much and again um it's just like a brown performance material straps are a little bit strappy and i think it's like super cute it's not padded which i don't even know if the bombshell one is and there's no front seams or anything like that i put this on i think it's super cute i think it has potential however for me i feel like i just looked kind of like a stick if you will um 
but it was close. I think this is a close hit, you know what I mean? I think if you're looking for a bodysuit and you want to try it out, since I'm on prep and I've been competing, I was like, this is the time to try out a bodysuit, you know? So I wanted to try this out and I think it's super cute. I think if you're looking for a bodysuit, especially like the chocolate adds a little bit of a fun little color way, I feel like. Um, but I feel like this material is super soft, performance, buttery, wicking, you know, kind of vibes. And I feel like the fit of it is overall really good. Um, you'll see in my try on video how it fits me. So if you're a similar build or, you know, if you're taller, it will probably fit you better. Um, since I am a little bit short, I feel like it bunched up in my waist area. Alrighty guys, we are officially into the corset cute top version of this video. So. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I have a lot of trips planned. So we went down to Houston for summer shredding. I'm going to go visit my friend from high school in Dallas in a few weeks. And so I want to get some cute tops. The Me and Tuesday's anniversary is coming up in August. And so I want to have just some like cute, fancier tops than like the basic tank tops and stuff. And so I grabbed a few corsets from um, Shein. I'm super excited to show them to you because... They turn out really good. So first things first, I'll show you my absolute favorite. It is this brown little silky corset. It has these cute little chain, gold chain straps. Um, and then I just feel like the detailing on the front is like super cute, super spicy. So it isn't like boned. Like you know how stuff has like boning in it so I can like literally crumble it up like this. Um, that's, it's just like the seams I guess you could say. The seams and the... Uh, detailing on the shirts and so here's another I got it in both brown and white it has the same exact detailing um, same little straps and I don't know if you can see but like you can like take these off I don't know what you would replace it with so if you just randomly have other shops you would want to replace this with you could totally do that but I think these are so cute I actually wore this to Houston and I absolutely loved it I think it's so fun um, I think it's like luxurious looking but also kind of cash because it's a tank top you know so i thought these were super cute i thought these would be great with a pair of shorts or a pair of jeans um so i got these two and i think they are absolutely so cute the silky material looks like silk it is obviously fake so it's not like the highest quality of a tank top but again it was like super inexpensive both of these were and so I absolutely love the brown one the white one is a little bit see-through since it is like silk it like kind of reflects so it's not super see-through but like I don't know if I want to take any risks or any chances with the white even though I really like it. I think it's just like so luxe I think it's so fine um and maybe if you wore just like a white shopless bra or like white stickies I don't know but I think this is like super cute. I think they're both a great find and I'm definitely keeping the brown one. So super stoked about those. So the next one I got is this little number and I don't like this. Like not one bit. I'm not entirely sure what I thought I was doing for this. But it's a little bit big. Um, as you can see it has kind of like a lace detailing. And then it has like this little tie in the front. This is the back of it. And I just didn't like this at all. You can see in the try on that it's a little bit too big and it's also kind of see-through since it is that like crochet little flower look. So this was not my favorite. I will be returning and I don't really have any good thing to say about it. But if you like the style and you like the vibe, go for it, you know? Okay, I was so looking forward to this one. This one is literally so cute. Look at the little pattern. It has a zipper on the back. The shops are like this ribbony material and this does have boning so it's like a little bit like it's like plastic boning so it's not super super sturdy but it provides a little bit of structure and these are padded so you don't have to wear a bra with it which I think is pretty cool. Um, the straps are ribbon so it does feel a little bit cheap um, and they aren't adjustable so that's kind of what I ran into a problem with. I would need to adjust these for it to fit correctly. Overall it was just like a little bit too big so I would probably also need to size down. Um, but overall I thought this was so cute. I love like the brown. I love like the simplicity but also like the fun pattern. Um, I just think it's like a really cool summer top and I think it would pair well with shorts or jeans. Um, so yeah, so if you're looking for like a little padded inexpensive corset, this is a good go-to. Okay, this was another corset that I really loved. Oh, that's the back. This is another corset that I absolutely loved. Like this pattern, guys, it is a little spaghetti strap 
it does have padding in it so you don't have to wear a bra there is um, a little bit of boning so it provides that structure and then here's the back it has like this lace up corset ribbon I love this I think it's so cute I do think like it's a little big for me because I don't really have a chest right now um, but I think it's super cute I think it pairs well with shorts jeans skirts pretty much anything and you can like adjust it since it has that tie so I just think this is really cute and like the material and like the quality of it is a lot nicer than the other ones like the straps feel a lot more sturdy um, the material is really soft and it has like a double it's double lined so it's not see-through or anything like that so I think it's really cute it came in a bunch of different patterns but I think this like white and tan combo is just super giving and um, I just love how you can adjust the back and lace it up to fit exactly how you want it to so absolutely love this definitely will be keeping Alrighty, so this is the last corset. It is this little black number. As you can see, it has the little corset detailing on the front. And then it has, this is like the little back. So it's a little bit shorter in back than in the front. And then it does have boning and wiring almost. Um, so it has like that structure, but it isn't padded. So keep that in mind. I don't really mind. I just wear some stickies with it and it looks really cute. I paired this with a pair of black shorts whenever I went to Alfland and, well, whenever I went to Houston and I just thought this was super cute. I think it's um, it's like sassy, sexy, but it's also kind of like casual since it's like just the black tank top. So I thought this was super fine. The material is a like, like a silky but stretchy material. So love that. The straps are adjustable and I think it's just a super cute little top. I'll definitely be keeping this and wearing it to Dallas. Okay, so the last little, little two towels, I got them in white. I wanted some white tops, but quickly did not quickly regret that decision. So I got this like little one shoulder top. I thought this was super cute. It has like a little, you know, crease detailing, a fluffy little sleeve, and then it like, uh, it's a zipper on the side. Um, so that's how you put that on. However, I just think it looks kind of weird on me. I didn't love it. And since it is like white, it's like that little chiffon, not chiffon, but like crepe material, I guess that's what it's called. I don't really know. But anyways, I think it's a little bit see-through for me and it was a little bit small. Uh, obviously you'll see in the try on, but I didn't love the overall like material and like the fit. So good idea, loved it on the model, but I just don't think it's for me. But I did also get this little white number. I think this is super cute. It's like an off the shoulder or you could put it kind of like a square neckline. Um, It does have a white little, it's that same crepey, paper material I don't know and then it does have ruching on the back and this is almost like a mixture of like a corset as you I don't know if you can see that but it has like that seam detailing it is not bone so it you know there's no structure to it but it has that detailing and I think this is super cute um however I do and it has like little balloon sleeves um it has little balloon sleeves but I think is also super cute I just don't think I'm good with white tops I spill too much and I don't love how like they're kind of see-through so I'll probably be also returning this just didn't love like the fit and the quality of it but if you liked how it looked in the try on i would recommend getting it for you but just know that it is like a little bit you know like the quality is like like that so that is my opinion and my honest review so take it as you will okay let me show you this one top really quick here it is it's this avocado crop top i think it's so fun it's like a super soft cottony crop top there's really not much to it here is the pattern up close it's like these little avocados with lips I thought it was just so cute and just like would be an easy thing to like pop over um, a sports rod at the gym or wear some jean shorts since it's like summery out um, I got like a pretty big size so it fit oversized so I like that um, but yeah it's just like a basic crop top but let's go into things that's probably my absolute favorite of this whole haul and it is this bodysuit I think I'm just like really into the browns lately for some reason, but I absolutely love this. So if you can see up close, it's almost like a performancey, like you, I don't even know how you would describe this, like elastic material maybe. Okay, so it's polyester and elastane, but anyways, let me just see. Okay, so if you can tell what the material is when I show you it like this, that's how the material is, and it's like a square cut neckline, and it's the same cut line in the back, and then it is a thong style, 
which I love. And then it has like little claspies at the bottom so you can unbutton these and button them so you don't take off your entire bodysuit when using the restroom. Um, so I love this. I think it's so cute. I've worn it a billion times with like mom jeans, with my wide leg jeans, um, with some shorts when I'm just walking around the house. I think this is so cute. And since the material is, it's like double lined so it's kind of thick so you don't necessarily need to wear stickies but I would recommend wearing stickies. Um, but I just think this is so cute. I absolutely love the fit of it. I think it's such a good deep brown color um, and I think it's perfect for like summer and you can also layer this and wear it in the fall. So I just think this is a really great neutral piece and since it's a bodysuit you can wear it literally with anything. So I would 10 out of 10 recommend getting this. This is honestly probably one of my favorite purchases of this haul. And with that being said, I also got this bodysuit clearly into the browns. This is more of a ribbed cottony material, if you can see that. Um, it is a spaghetti strap, which I like, and this is a low cut in the back, which it's perfect. I wore this for 4th of July, and I wore it with just a pair of jean shorts, and I think it's absolutely so cute. And then again, it is like the little buttony on the bottom, so you don't have to take it all the way off when using the restroom. Um, but I actually love this. You definitely have to wear some sticky bras because the material is a lot more thin than the last one that I showed you. Um, but it's super cute, super fun. I absolutely love like these neutrals and like bodysuits. I just feel like bodysuits are so easy. Um, and bodysuits you cannot return. Note that. So you can't return bodysuits um, from Shein, which I was not mad about because I love both of these. So again, you can layer these with anything. You can wear them throughout the entire year because you can layer things. Um, summer, winter, fall. So if you like bodysuits and you're really into browns like me, I would 10 out of 10 recommend getting this one. And I love the low back. Okay guys, last but not least, uh, sweatshirts. So I got, yes, hold on. Yes, I got two of the same exact sweatshirts, just in different colors. Um, if you guys do not know, I am an NPC wellness competitor. I was originally a bikini competitor and switched to wellness this year because it just fits my frame better. I'm more built for that division. So when I saw this, I thought it was so cute. Look at how cute these are. It says wellness. And then it says like, what is it under? Invest in your happiness. Okay, I just thought that was so cute, mostly because the wellness and like now I'm a wellness competitor. But I got these in a large, and as you can see, it's pretty large. Um, but I really love this. It's it has that like soft little teddy material on the inside. The outside is like a little bit stiff and a little bit weird. I mean, that's just like a cheap Shein sweatshirt. Um, but I think it's like super cute. It's really warm, super cozy, and it definitely is more of like a boxy fit. And then this is like the bottom. If you can see the bottom, it's just like a little seamed, little seam. But anywho, I thought this blue was so cute. I absolutely, I'm a big blue fan. And I just love like the little simple detailing on the front. And again, since I'm a wellness competitor, I thought I just like fit the vibe. So I got this in blue and then I also got it in this cream color. As you can see, it has the same detailing and design on the front and then again it has the same little bottom part and I like this one I definitely like the blue better because it's just like more color and like I realized I am not good with white or light clothing so this one is not as white as I thought it was going to be so I'll probably be returning this one just because like I don't love it as much as the blue one and I'll definitely probably end up staining it so we're going to return her and like the quality like I said it's like okay for like one but i don't want two of the same sweatshirts that are like not as good quality but the sleeves are really cute and again it has like that little fuzzy on the inside so that's like the material if you're wondering what to expect but yeah i thought these were just super cute and super fun and i would recommend getting them especially if you're a wellness competitor and you want to be a little punny you know what i mean guys i totally forgot that i got like a bunch of accessories and things from shein so let me just show you really quick I got some stickies since I got all the skew tops. These came in like a pack of like 40 or something and different colors, different shapes. So those are super cute. I would definitely recommend those if you're getting cute little tank tops. I also got this foundation. So I got like a sample because since I competed, I, I did my own makeup app with my shows and I didn't know what color like darkness to get. And so I got some samples. I didn't end up using them because I had my Maybelline foundation instead. Um, but if I ever need to do my own makeup in a really dark color, I have a sample or three. Um, but I'm currently wearing these earrings. So as you can see, these ones are like square. But it came in, it came with another pack. I don't know where the other pack is, but 
it came in like an identical pack to this but they're square and so it came with all these earrings and these were literally like two dollars so i sometimes lose my earrings a lot and i love like studs i only really wear studs i don't love the pearls it was more i got them more for like the diamondy ones but these are super cute they're super like sparkly and i love how they have different sizes my only concern note comment it did turn my ears kind of green so i would recommend getting clear nail polish and just putting those on there before you start wearing them i also like wear my earrings in the shower when i'm gymming like all the time so that was probably on me and then lastly i got these so i thought i would be fun to like do my hair like put it up like it's like curlers for my little front uh, money piece but these didn't work exactly how i thought they were going to so if you're looking for these it's kind of fun so Anyways, guys, that concludes my Shein haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you got some ideas of what activewear you can purchase, what styles you like, and what fits are good for you. Um, like I said, I'll be linking all of these items down below, so you can just click on them and pick out your color, your size. I'll also be linking my size. Um, if you enjoyed this, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. And also comment below what you will be getting from this haul or what your favorite item was. I'm so interested to see what you guys like the most. Um, but I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I will be posting more videos on, well, I'll be posting videos every Monday, hopefully. And I have a really exciting vlog coming up. There are a lot of fun things going on in me and TJ's lives. And I would love if you guys knew about them before everyone else, you know, little, little sneak peek. And I'll see you guys in the next video.